Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I thought today was a great day to do some fun adventuring. Basically, um, we're gonna go on a little shopping adventure. Might not buy that many things, but um, I love to window shop. So today we're gonna go quite a few, but I, I'll split them up into different videos. Um, it's gonna be a mini road trip because where all these stores are is about an hour away from my house. We're actually gonna be driving to Indianapolis. We are going to get started and get on the road. What can we get started for you? Uh, yes, can I have a medium uh, Charlie cold foam? All right guys, goods are secured. So I just got the Charlie cold foam from Duncan. I'm usually a Starbucks person, but I really, really like this drink. And it's like four dollars for a very large quantity next time you see me we'll be in indianapolis hopefully shopping our little hearts out <laughs> Disney things. I haven't seen that before. It's super cool and kind of retro and it's like a really thick uh, sweatshirt material for $48.90. There's an amazing Jurassic Park section, and they have this bag that I've seen everywhere. And you open it up, and there's a dinosaur. Oh my gosh. And that bag's here for $74.90. Honestly, I love this shirt. I really want to get it. $28.90. Here's an Arlen and Aragon uh, lounge fly. Actually, it's not a lounge fly, but backpack. We have this glass tum glass tumbler. That's the 422nd Quidditch World Cup champion. For $12.90. It's really cute. I haven't seen this before. It's the teacup with saucer from Divination Class. This is my dear, you have the grim. It's super cool. It retails for $24.90. Look at their backpacks. really random and cool, but they have a marble slow cooker. Okay, everyone, so for Hot Topic, we basically had to do a voiceover for two reasons. One, the music was so loud that there was no way YouTube wasn't going to copyright me, and I was literally going to have to scream over the phone for you to hear me over the music. It was also pretty busy in there, so it was a lot of background noise as well, but we finally made it to the Harry Potter section, and I, of course, went straight to stationery because I'm obsessed with no books. There was this really nice one, just had the uh, four houses as dividers. It was there for $14.90. It was just normal notebook paper. I was really interested in this planner that I saw that was $19.90, but unfortunately I couldn't see the inside of it and I'm super picky when it comes to my planners. They had so many options for jewelry that ranged from about $9 to $15 to $20 for more. I've never seen this much jewelry in a Hot Topic before that was Harry Potter related. And then of course they have multiple t-shirts, they were actually running pretty thin on them. They had this cute little set that the shorts just looked really long for me. I think it's the style now, but it's kind of not for me. One thing that I do love about Hot Topic is their socks. There are so many adorable socks. I wear crewnecks to work, so of course I picked me up these Spongebob ones because they were absolutely adorable. I think they were around 6 to $7. Alright, now it's time for FYE. Okay 
guys, I'm just going to continue to do a voiceover, um, but I saw some friends retire, that was super cute, a random world's best boss mug in the middle of the friends as you saw, um, yeah, and it's amazing, we were in the stitch section, that was absolutely adorable, even some things were on sale. Honestly, they had one of the most amazing office sections, so if you're looking for gifts or anything, go to FYE and see what you can find. So I think now our plan of action is to maybe head to Target. Um, there's multiple Targets around here, but um, I think there's one closer to this area, and then we'll be going to Books A Million, which is kind of on the other side of town, and then maybe Barnes & Noble as well. Alright guys, my favorite place. You know that excitement you get when you see the first Harry Potter display case? Yeah, that was me. They had quite a lot of Legos over here, um, like everything you could ever imagine, a nice little hippogriff, and then these new Funko Pops I thought were interesting. I hadn't seen these before. Um, this is called the Vinyl Collection, and this is Bellatrix. They have a few characters in these. Um, it looks like Bellatrix, Luna, Ron, Hermione, and Harry. Um, these were $9.95, so I thought that was interesting. I hadn't seen those before. Over on this display, they have some things I've basically seen at every Barnes & Noble. This Hedwig Noble Collection set, um, Hermione's Time Turner, and this really cool Basilisk um, pen that I saw. It was $14.99. They had Hermione's Time Turner for about $50. It's something that I've wanted for so long, but just can't make myself, you know, pull the trigger on it. Basically, all the Funko Pops you could ever want or really imagine. A whole wall full of them. I also really enjoyed looking at some of their Mandalorian stuff and Star Wars. They have an insane amount of stuff that you can get. This is a bookmark that actually timed how long you were reading. Can we just take a second to notice that Funko Pop of Han Solo being frozen in carbonite? Alright, and I finally found the section that all Barnes and Nobles have. It's literally just the whole wall where like Hogwarts Castle is on the bookshelf. Um, and here it is right now. One of, oh goodness, it's my favorite place ever to look at, really. I absolutely love these illustrated versions of the books and they are on my bucket list. Like I am going to get them very, very soon. They are just so beautiful. I think they're around $40 each. I can't wait to start collecting them. I'm just waiting on some goals for myself before I start bringing them in. They are pretty expensive at $40, but I think they're absolutely worth it. They of course had some Luna Spectra specs that were around, I think, $5 or so. They're super cute. Definitely would love to wear those to the Wizarding World. A life-size version of the Marauder's Map that is unfolds and everything is super awesome all the wands that you could really even hope for i thought these were super cool especially they line up with their spines like that basically they're film vaults for all of the harry potter movies they're 16.99 a piece they have all kinds of games including like harry potter trivial P pursuit um i love oh, hermione granger's bag and the mandrakes as well those are the interactive ones so when you pull them out they scream I thought this um, prophecy game was pretty cool as well, and then these puzzles are super cool. I think those were around $15.99. Multiple books over basically any topic that you could hope for. This one was about just the separate brooms and the series and who had them and about kind of what they're made of. 
This little mini sorting hat was absolutely adorable. And that was it really for Barnes and Noble. Um, I think after this we went to Target. So you'll find Target next clip. All right guys, it's time for Target. If you're looking for some just regular t-shirts, I would suggest trying Target out. They have lots of Disney things, Nickelodeon, like you saw there, I loved that shirt, even some office stuff, even some Harry Potter stuff. And also check the men's section as well because I like the way men's t-shirts fit, but they always surprise me with all of their t-shirt designs. Unfortunately, it was kind of a miss with Target. I really didn't find anything that I hadn't seen before and I feel like they have been cycling out a lot of their Harry Potter stuff. Um, and, you know, there were some cool board games that were, like, Jaws-related in Jurassic Park. Of course, they had some Harry Potter Legos, but really nothing that I hadn't seen, like I said, um, and nothing that, like, sparked my interest, unfortunately. They did have a few Funko Pops, um, some that were exclusive to Target only. They weren't really anything that I knew about, so I didn't feel comfortable enough to talk about those. Lots of Mandalorian stuff. One thing that they did have were Legos, so they had all these Harry Potter Legos. I really like the wizard's chest one, and then also I hadn't seen this Hogsmeade one very much, so I really liked that one as well, it was $79.99. I did find the paperbacks for 20% off, so I think you saved about a dollar, if that, but they were $8, so not too bad, and they had the whole collection. They also had these cute, super cute page clips I found. And then again, they had the beautiful illustrated copies that were actually 20% off as well. Um, but I think with my Barnes & Noble discount, it would be about the same. So I was just going to wait to get them from Barnes & Noble. If you watched my What's in My Park bag for Universal Orlando, you'll know that I pack reusable straws. And Target had these on sale for like $5. So I would definitely recommend checking those out. All right guys, we are done at that mall. Um, I did get like two things from Hot Topic. I was like, for sure I was gonna buy something from Box Lunch because they always have things that I love, but nothing really popped out to me. Even though that teacup I showed you was absolutely adorable, I almost got it, but um, all I got from Hot Topic was this Hedwig keychain. It's a pop, it's exclusive to Hot Topic. Um, it was $8.90 and I thought it was adorable. This is the diamond collection. I wonder if that's just because she's sparkly. I don't know. Um, but I haven't decided if I'm just gonna leave it in the box or um, actually put it on my keychain. <laughs> this, this other one's funny. Uh, I just loved them. I get to wear like long socks at work and so I like to wear fun socks and <laughs> I could not. Ah, they're like tie-dye and adorable and they're SpongeBob being really happy on them. And they're really a thick material. So these were $6.90. Um, they had like so many cute socks. They had a Jurassic Park uh, pair that was absolutely adorable. I almost got them too, but um, yeah, I think these are so flippin' cute. So I think now our plan of action is to maybe head to Target. Um, there's multiple Targets around here, but um, I think there's one closer to this area and then we'll be going to Books A Million. Oh, this is editing, Becca. Um, basically, I never filmed an outro for that video. Um, I wasn't sure if they were going to be in one video or split apart. So there was so much stuff at uh, Books A Million that I ended up splitting them. So um, basically, this is an outro to uh, the video that you just watched. Please, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment of what you would have bought. Um, let me know what you think about the places we went to. And if you would subscribe, that would greatly help me out. If you're interested in the Books A Million haul, it will be up probably next week. Um, I think maybe on Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Say goodbye and thanks. Okay, you try. Say bye.